Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are surrounded by pageantry. And the kickoff team out there getting set. Set to kick it off. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. He's got his man. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Fresh set of downs after the completion. To the air on first down. It's complete. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in a game. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Lining up to convert third down. To the ground to try to move the chain. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The run from the shotgun. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. Throwing right. He's got it. Makes the grab and knock down, and he's got it at the 25-yard line. Simple call, excellent execution, moves the sticks on third down. These QBs and receivers, man, they run this route in practice thousands of times. So it's nice to see them come out here and execute it in game conditions. Great job with the timing. Great job with the depth and the route. Nice work between those two. First and 10, they're down to the 25. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. They'll run it from the gun. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. They're trying to get to it. Hit as he throws. And it's a touchdown, puts six on the board. And how about the job by this offense? This is not a scrub defense. This is a top 10 defense in college football. You got to take points whenever you can get them. Nice drop, put the drive together, putting six on the board. No matter how it looks, you just got to keep fighting with this squad. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this, but this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. They'll go back to the ground. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. And that's good enough for a first down. They're going to ride this running back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. He kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Red pass. It's complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to run for it. Fighting off the defender. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And first down for the offense. They'll give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And now on second down for this offense. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. The lone back's got it. Using that running game to bludgeon forward, he's got four down to the 35. A third and long coming up here. Thompson wants to throw. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. That is a gut punch if you're the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. And here comes the punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Offense getting set for first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Still on the 35-yard line, they'll try it again on second and 10. He leaves it with his back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. He'll run it again. Number 47. On to kick it away. First boot of the day is on its way. He was called on three times in that loss last week. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the offense on first down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They go to the ground. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Thompson to throw. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The punt team makes its way onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. And the returner goes down. Here comes the offense onto the field again. Here's the handoff. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll go right back to him. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and ten. 
Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. Let me tell you something. When that guy goes in motion, alert, alert. He's a burner. I have to be 100% locked in and understand they can give him the football and he can burn. Great job by the defense being locked in on their keys and knowing that could be a possibility. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. Heaves it deep. Serious arm strength on that third down pass, but it's incomplete. They bring the punter onto the field now. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Quick handoff. Knocked down after a pickup of three to the 12. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Might as well stick with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Pocket starts to collapse. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And here comes the punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Makes the catch at the midfield logo. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Give to the back. Makes one man miss. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. On second down, he'll let it fly. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Complete with conviction on the crosser. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. Looking left. It's complete. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. They want to just keep throwing it. Holds it in. And it's complete at the six. Defense right there, but now they're backed up with a goal-to-go situation. Wants to go up top. Got his man quickly. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Second and goal coming up. He's looking to throw. He caught it. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. And he's in for the touchdown. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Two up in the sense over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. On to attempt to try. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. So they moved the ball 43 yards on that drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Norfolk to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. 
This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Ballard Stadium. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. On first down, here comes this offense. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The give from the gun. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Fires to the wideout. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it in the last minute. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Now this offense is back on the field. He'll keep it himself. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. So after the first down run, here's second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. They'll give it to the back. Went to the running game on third down and picked up five, but still a couple of yards short. It's fourth and two. And that is just a spectacular punt, and he will pin them in the shadow of their own goalpost inside the five. The give to the right. Not much movement there. It's a gain of one. Gets him out to the five. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They give it to him again. Bulls his way forward. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you've already sent your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter. And his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Inside four minutes to play here in the third. Thompson wants to throw. Got his man down the middle. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. First play of the drive comes from the 41. Power football with the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. They'll go right back to the run. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll try the run. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. Quick pass on the fly motion. And this one will be stopped for no gain. 
Here comes the offense on second down. Second down. Hand off from the shotgun. He is delivering the blow while running the ball, and he gets it to the 39. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Wants to throw on third down. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. He's looking for an open man on second down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground, but you can blitz them off the edge and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Makes the grab. It's Montgomery. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Makes the grab. And it'll be a touchdown. They tack on a little extra here in the fourth and just about set to break this long losing streak. Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Makes the grab, it's Williams. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Thompson to throw. He looks that one in nicely. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. First down here for the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. They've got him spread out on second and seven, two wide out to either side. Quick release by the QB. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further.
They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Coming out with it, it's Preston. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Thompson wants to throw. It's complete to the right. And he's down right there. Picked up a few, but still some work to do to get a first down. Looking to pass on second down. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Working the middle. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Looking to throw it again. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. Well, the offense is trying to stay aggressive, right? You just came up with a huge play, and right away you go back to another pass, but you got to do a better job protecting your quarterback. Can't give up a sack. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. Now the play fake. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. That's caught. It's Williams. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Now he's going to send this one deep to the right. He's got it downfield for a huge game. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. From the red zone, looking for a space. That's caught. It's huge. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They're working that left side. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Let's it go to the end zone. Punches it in to the hallelujah land for a touchdown. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Oh, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Two-point conversion attempt is coming. Snap it to the back. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They want that clock to run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Handoff to the lone back. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. 
They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Offense gets set for second down. Thompson to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got a man, it's Hughes. And he's not gonna get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Makes a catch past the sticks. Oh, look out! He's at the 10. And he takes this one into the end zone and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. There we go. There's step one. There's a lot of things that needs to happen for this offense, but it started with the touchdown. Time's ticking out. We gotta go for two here. Cut this to eight, where we maybe can get another score and get that two-point conversion to tie. So that touchdown was big, but just as big, this two-point conversion attempt to try to get it to a one-possession game. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Time is against them, still down by two scores, but they'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. He takes an in. It took longer than they had hoped, but they finally get their first victory of the season. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.